Hi, my name is Simpani. I'm data scientist from Alibaba Cal. Today I will show you how to use DataWorks in this video. And to introduce the DataWorks, I should show you what is a mass compute because the DataWorks is an online IDE for mass compute. And DataWorks is designed for the big data project and it supports more than 10 billion records. And also you can define your map reduced processing and UDF function for the large scale processing. This is a diagram for the DataWorks tutorial. And first of all, I will show you how to upload the CSV files to mass compute. And then I will show you how to do the synchronization from an existing database, for example, MySQL to, to mass compute. And after that, I will show you how to design the workflow and you can set up the frequencies to launch the workflow. And also I will show you how to do the permission management based on mass compute. So in order to do this demo, I have to prepare a mock database and I mock a small database for the sales record and there are three columns, the SKU, date time, quantity, SKU means the name of the product, date time, it means at what time the product has been sold, the quantity, how many items have been sold it. So now I have this CSV file and then I can initialize the tables in data walls. In Alibaba Cal, we, we go to the console. And now we search for data rules. In order to save time, I already create a new project called demo001. And you can create a new project here, this button and you can select different kind of region and also for place as go or subscription subscription means you can choose your computing resources and there is also a plugin for machine learning called Pi and now we go to the data studio And there are four tabs here. Data integration means the you can do synchronization from different kind of data sources or the output for different kind of data sources. Data development for develop the, the different kind of uh, script. Data management means you can show how many computing resources or storage resources you have been using. Also, you can set up the permission for each tables according to different account. Operation sentence, you can set up the frequency of the workflow. Project management, it means you can add a new uh, account into the project and also the project settings. So let's start with the data development with a script to in initialize all the tables. Init tables. And it's a SQL, I use it. I job table if if existing cells and now I create a new table creatable cells SKU is a string day time is a day time and also for the um, quantity is a bit if I remember correctly and now you can choose only one sentence to the launch if you select one and also there is a estimate cost if you run and uh, you only run only this SQL and uh, we like to run all the secure sentence In the meantime, I can show you also there is some function definition for all the SQL here. There is date function for SQL, analytic function for the SQL in mass computer stream function, and mathematical function, aggregated function, and other function. And you can also define your UDF function. Once you define it, you can find your UDF function from here. 
and now we are creating a new tables it's uh, pretty slow because uh, this is for real big data so it takes time to submit the job allocating the computing resource and get the result back and now we are finished to create a new table and we can import the CSV file into the cells tables and now this is the CSV file I created because there is no uh, header so I uncheck this box and now I can import into the tables the cells table we just created match by position and now there are 3540 items have been imported and we can have a look a quick look of the data and task development you can different define different tasks based on Irish regulator, based on MapReduce or um, UDF function or Python script as well. You can miss your language. It's very interesting for data scientists, this part. And it will show the result here. Now we, get, we import all the, our data inside the database. And now this is the first step upload the CSV file into the mass computer and now we can do the synchronization from MySQL to mass computer because usually you already have an existing database you don't want to export to another format so if your database is already support JDBC connector you can do the synchronization from MySQL to mass computer so let me show you an example and you create data integration now inside the data sources you can create new data sources this is a previous one I created and you need a JDBC URL and I copied I delete my one and now I create new data sources and it support many different kinds of database relational database large-scale database for example data hub in our system semi-structure data storage HD, uh, HDFS and OSS but you need to set up a CSV file in OSS otherwise it uh, cannot be recognized no SQL like a MongoDB and map cache this kind of database MSQ for the logger record and as an example I show you the MySQL here and I use a public IP address I use here this is a URL URL port and the database I show it's uh, my SQL from my SQL server. Um, I test it if it works or not. Yeah, it works. And now we have uh, data sources, and we can create a synchronized job, synchronization job here, new synchronization job, and we use the Zamo because it's much more easier to understand and we create a mass, we do a synchronization from MySQL to OTPS and there is a sales table I already done in the MySQL and this is the sources I choose the target the target is the OTPS command uh, OTPS database and I choose the sales as well so that means I overwrite the data and next is the mapping you can choose the mapping from different column. On the left is a MySQL, on the right is ODPS. ODPS is the previous name of the mass computer. And now it's a channel. Here is how many computing resources you want to allocate it for this uh, synchronization job. At the end is a summary of all the configuration. Then you can save. Sync from MySQL. And now you can run this job or you can submit it. Submit means you can set up the frequency of the job, uh, scheduling cycle, how many hours, how many hours, days, weeks, months, and starting and ending date, those kind of um, scheduler information. 
and you can now as an example I just run it I synchronize from the MySQL Now the job has been finished, so we we are managed to synchronize from MySQL to MathCompQ. Now I start to show you how to create a workflow task. You can create here task development, task development, and select a workflow task and call it all in one. And there are many different kind of data processing nodes. OpenML is a standard MapReduce processing. ODPS SQL is a uh, SQL based on ODPS uh, API. ODPS MR it provides much more rich uh, API for MapReduce uh, function. Data synchronization is just I show you how to do the synchronization from Map from MySQL to ODPS or the in or the inverse. Algorithm means the platform for AI for the machine learning uh, algorithm. PODPS is based on is used for the Python script, and you can that means you can mix the language with Python and Java because MapReduce is based on the Java function uh, Java language, and Python PODPS is for the Python. Shell is used for ODPS command, and for the virtual project. I usually use for start as a started and since of the limit of time I don't have time to show all the details for the nodes and uh, just show you the general idea I set up a starting point a starting node and now we can have a synchronization as an input from my circuit And now we have a uh, have, uh, ETL process. One ETL means to extract some useful information from the tables for feature engineering or for dashboard. And now we can do some uh, ensemble, feature sample. We train the model after that. And after we can do some output for the other database. Duck. We can connect each node now. Mm. And once you finish, you can set up the frequency of the job. You can set up the range of the activation, day range, and also the frequency, day, week, month, minute, hours, or at what time you want to launch the workflow. So this is for the workflow development. So here is the data development. In data development, you can see how many computing resources you are using, and also for the storage, how many storage you are using. For me, it's a eight gigabyte and also CPU per day and also there is some uh, table quantity and you can set up the table management table permission for for the users to allocate the read write permission for the tables and operation centers you can set up the frequency of the workflow and also you can s have a dashboard to see how many workflow is running and how many is successful and the other is a fail. And for the project management, you can set up the user road for each user. For example, you can set up the project admin for the user, developer for the user or OMM, deployer, visitor, security admin for different kind of a user. 
So quick uh, recap, uh, in this video I show you how to upload the CSV file into the mass compute and then I do the synchronization from MySQL to mass compute. And also I show you how to design the workflow task and how to set up its frequencies. And for the data management, you can set up the table permission. And in the project management, you can set up the user roles for each account. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to send me an email. Thank you for your attention.